All right, now we got a fucking problem, Adam Craft PC, because either one of two things is happening right now. Thing number one, you're Ascendant 3, and you don't know that you should be holding a Classic pistol with the Shorty on the ground, so that way you can swap to Classic for the A retake. Or thing number two, you do know that, and you're lazy as in ranked. Uh, both of these are bad. So when the round starts, of course, Classic pistols on the ground, they despawn. Which is why when you're playing Shorty, you want to keep your Shorty on the ground. You hold a Classic, then the round begins, you pick up your Shorty. And now you have a classic for the retake on the other side. Doesn't it make it obvious that you're playing shorty? What? Bro, if you're that worried about it, do it over here. As if they're going to sprint out through your cypher trip before you can shift over here. It's fine. Yeah, this play only works because you're playing against a shit team, you know? Like, if this team ran three mid, they broke your Sage Wall Insta, they took mid control, and then they decided to go A or B, your shorty buy, like, close right here with no classic is just a terrible strat. It's just not a good pre-round strategy. The moment you have the classic fallback, it, it is at least somewhat justifiable. But, like, B main of all the places? Like, what's the most likely to get hit on split? I'd say A, mid, and then I'd say B. And when you're playing shotgun, you want to position towards the most likely threat. So I'm pretty sure that that's ramps. You play close shotgun ramps because their raise is likely like satchel up or their neon runs up. And then if it turns out to be mid, you can drop into ropes with your shotgun. I think that makes about 5,000 times more sense. I'm actually curious. I'm going to pull up. Does parry 2N buy shotguns on pistol? I do not recommend watching this guy for like learning, but I'm actually curious because I know he plays shotgun only. <laughs> I was curious because like I'm thinking about it I'm thinking there's no way a shotgun only player is gonna play B main on this map and sure enough he's starting ropes which is pretty much what I was talking about mid and A and he's playing fast rotator ramps with his shotgun also guess who held a classic at the start of round and picked up his shorty like Like, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're basically losing the round already with the way you're playing, you know? Did you know only 420% of the people who watch my videos could actually receive free VOD reviews? Really? It's true. Even me. Absolutely. <gasps> wow. I'm going to join the Discord to learn how. Then show up to a VOD review stream to get some of that potassium wisdom. No scope right to my brain. And that's not all. I'm also offering free Valorant gift cards to anyone who makes yes. successful improvement based on my coaching, made possible by the support of the Generous Knowers Guild on Discord. So what are you waiting for? Hit us up and enjoy the video. It's like you put no thought into your split playbook at all. Yeah, it's like the same idea. Like you're positioning here. You have a really hard time joining mid. Like why aren't we up here, man? Not on site. Nothing on site. <laughs> you fall for the oldest trick in the book. Race is on split. Mid control. 30 seconds left. On split. Thrifty. Yeah, like you're not playing, man. You, this VOD is so autopilot y. Like you see it? you know like it, what's the point this is not like a high enough quality vod for Hujin coaching in my opinion like you're high enough elo to come up with a better playbook than playing here on your advantage round with a judge where you can't really rotate anywhere missing the like the advice i give you is you're bad you know like you know this is so bad it's actually so bad your pre-rounds are not setting you up to make higher level mistakes okay six from, six from. Yeah, gunfight technique could be better. You're rushing your shots, we can't tell. Is there a shotgun player? So right here, you're going to notice you shoot before you're even done aiming. Do you see? It's so minor, but so major. I'm going to do one hard bots run of shooting immediately, and then one hard bots run of shooting right after I aim. I am going to just like try and aim right to the bot's head. I'm gonna play sheriff.
seven. Now I'm gonna go a little slower. Nineteen. Nobody aims like this. The only time people will aim that fast is if like they're this far from the heck in head, like really close. And even then, it's not that consistent. You gotta slow it down, man. Like your technique is terrible. Like look at your second burst too. You're, you're, it's so bad. Okay, so here's your first burst. Go frame by frame. Okay, now you're moving. And look, you aim down and you start shooting here. There's no world you think you're even close to her head, man. You practice this in DM, yes, but it's, it's way easier to not rush your shots in DM because it doesn't matter in DM. So you practice it in ranked. <laughs> But like of course you do it in um in dm as well but i'm pretty sure like you could boot up dm right now and aim patiently but could you boot up ranked right now and aim patiently probably not you have to like practice it so there's like two sources of panic in rank source number one is you didn't expect an enemy and in this scenario i cannot give you that benefit of the doubt here because what the hell would you where would you expect them at this point they've got to be here so we have to roll that out and i generally don't mind when people get panicked because they get surprised in fact even professional players get panicked when they get surprised by somebody but here this guy's not surprising you in any way shape or form and so reason number two is setting in it's ranked and you don't want to die and that's an invalid reason to panic so panicking because you got surprised is valid panicking because you don't want to die and it's ranked is cringe on based and you're bad dm tdm is super composed rank is panic fire yeah so the reason why you're panic firing in ranked because you don't want to die you don't want to lose well that bro just d rank because you know in the long run it's better who cares about your rank icon if there's some piece of shit on your friends list who stares at your rank icon on the regular and dms you when you like rank up like when you hit an immortal where they dm you when you rank down like oh that feels bad and it drives you nuts unfriend that piece and then d rank with confidence knowing that you're fixing your bad technique so that way you can reach new heights you actually heckin got outplayed or like at least you whiffed but instead instead of whiffing you just like Oh my god, what the f <laughs> Smoke. What are you doing V main? Man. That sucks. You think a huge night will be stopped playing shotguns? No, I don't give a f this this map is one of the best shotgun only maps of the game. But at least think this is the most important part of the map. Maybe put your shotgun there. What do you mean B main, bro? What do you mean A main, bro? What are you doing? He's a dude who's heckin hitting rank one radiant on the regular doing it. It's not that bad. The way you're doing it is bad, though. What are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Brimstone is not Omen. Brimstone is not Astra. Okay, so let's look at the um, let's talk Fracture because it's a Brimstone map and let's talk Bind because that's a brimstone map why are they brimstone maps and why isn't split because we need to understand the weakness of our agent to adjust our play because right now you're playing like a normal controller how does brim play on fracture on average well the answer is pretty straightforward he plays here plays fast rotate now why does he do that because yeah exactly he can smoke everything and then on buy-in which is not necessarily the case in fact brim will contest b long pretty frequently the point is he can still come over here and smoke a joint which is the more important of the two because teammates will usually take showers control and worst case he'll tp which negates this huge distance barrier and you can smoke for showers so because on these maps brimstone can still smoke basically everything depending on the scenario he's very strong because brimstone otherwise is a very strong agent his ultimate's really good his stim beacon is very effective on retakes his molly is very powerful and of course like this orbital strike is disgusting so on split normally you don't pick Olbin, but it's fine if you are you gotta understand like people are picking uh sorry normally they don't pick brimstone gotta understand, people are picking omen they're picking astra and they're sometimes picking double controller adding viper into the mix so that they can pick harbor but and harbor actually has similar issues that brimstone has and that's why they pick double controller omen can play b he can anchor b similar like how you want to he can flash this lane he can even play back here funny off angle and if his teammates say it's a well look it's like okay bet you gotta rotate a bit off of b but i'm like still on b site and I can smoke a cover going out. Okay. And then of course, uh, Astro can do it from anywhere. So Brimstone has a weakness in that case, the balance, the overall strength of the rest of the kit that affects how something. Brimstone has to position is if Brimstone's positioning over here is Jover. <laughs> the enemy team's rushing a, your team will be like, where were the smokes? And you're like, oh, well I had to rotate B heaven to give you one. 
then I had to rotate halfway to A main to give you the other. You got to play in the middle of the map on Brimstone. You got to play ropes. You got to play B heaven. Is now, look. Oh, B main. Launching smoke. Bet. Oh, A main. Bet. Launching smoke. So it's intuitive that this is like good positioning for him. So the shotgun, not only is mid right the most important area to control, you're playing shotgun, so you want to be there. But additionally, you're playing Brimstone, man. You gotta, you gotta be able to smoke everything. So like, where does Brimstone play on Haven? Pop quiz. He plays B. Sometimes he'll play Garage. Like if you're playing Brim on Haven, it's very straightforward and predictable. Not necessarily a bad thing. If you're playing Brimstone on Breeze, it's generally going to be considered strong to probably push out Tunnel in some capacity. So you can smoke A and smoke B. He's not an anchor. Brimstone is not an anchor, unlike every other agent in his class. Uh, I guess Harbor is not an anchor either. Uh, so Brimstone and Harbor fall under like this different category of controllers where they're not global. Their utility cannot be used globally. So there's like two solutions to that problem. In solo queue, they play central. In coordinated play, you just pick Viper too. <laughs> and then you can, can put them on edges of the map and you're chilling. Like one of the most common comps on both Fracture and... Um, find for the longest time was picking both of these dudes in pro play your your defense is so bad i'm just gonna skip to attack i need you to think more about how you're going to defend careful with that smoke that gives them free rotating the elbow yeah so let's start at this point Right now, you missed the correct play. What am I going to say the correct play is? You got to go first. Right now, you're low HP. You've got practically no utility. The Sage heals on cooldown. You got to go first, boss. Get out there. But instead, we end up last in line. That's not good. Yeah. So, like, we took sight, but then we willingly planted back sight with no kills so they're playing retake against us on the best retake map in the game with everyone alive and you don't have the plant for heaven so you've lost how do we avoid this i got the answer for you you need mid control my dude you need to threaten that you're going to take mid control that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to take mid control it means that they have to worry that you have taken it or uh you need ramp control a split like you will not win this round at this point when this bomb goes down because the bomb is not planted for heaven and it's equal numbers. You need to plant for heaven and you need to have some threat that you're going to have heaven control in the post plant or you're losing the round on this map. This is how it is. The map is too favorable for the retakers. So you just threw the whole round like at that. Like I wouldn't plant there. I need you to understand with this much time on the clock. If I'm in your shoes, I'm genuinely calling dudes back to try and take ramps control or maybe even leave and hope that they've all rotated. You can't plant here. You're basically saying, yeah, I'm down to lose. So you got 20% odds. Why, why do you do this shit with your smokes where they bulge out? Why are you doing this? What's the justification? Oh, great. My Valorant crashed. I forgot. Use it on eco to give them less swinging space. What do you mean? Because now they can like come out on this side or this side and it's harder for you to deal with. Yeah, I think you should also only be throwing one of these smokes so you can take control of the other lane. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. Bro is also oh, judging B main. No, on your buy round, you're going to go all B main? I guess the Astro that judges B main? And you lose the round. You're already playing at a disadvantage though no threat of mid lurk whatsoever no frags you know what they're gonna do they're gonna astra king cuss back sight. they're gonna throw a sage slow and they're gonna win the round Backside, or of course you're gonna hit a bunch of lucky shots is right behind the wall. and then you'll win the round Uh, Look how close that shit is, dude. They're on full eco and their retake sucked, by the way. Their retake was ass. <laughs> like if I was in the POV of any of these players, I'd be mad at them. First, I'd be mad at the raise for nading your asses there when she should be holding it for the retake because you have no mid control. There's a website you use to look at best plans. I can show you that, but it's got nothing to do with that. Like this is um 
split boom, boom, boom b here you can see like it's the problem here with these numbers is most of the time when you're getting the bomb down on this map you have some level of like mid control like i these numbers don't tell you the whole story on this map because you don't just get to choose between these two plants like if we were in your shoes it's not like you could just plant here that round you know what i'm saying because you already fucked up. you don't have any control of heaven so if you try to plant there you'll just die it's a strategy issue like why aren't we taking mid control there's one in spawn Why do you have the bomb in this formation? Also, the world's laziest hacking ropes clear award goes to your ass. First of all, at least jump into the thing. You have a shotgun. Yeah, we just lose the whole round because of that. Heaven smoked off. You're just hell. You obviously can't plant in the corner. They might spam it. Plant out here, maybe. Spike planted. Heaven. Please don't pray with an ult that you don't follow up on. <laughs> Could hit yourself, maybe. Open up the sky. Oh my God! You prayed. How did I know you would do that shit? How did I know you'd do that you shit? Oh dang, we're stuck on site. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Yeah, you're going to be so hard suck, man. Like high ascendant, low immortal at best. Mostly because you're going to run into this huge wall where this suboptimal playstyle is not going to work. It's too, too far deviated. Oh, it's not spike. Spike planet. Like look at every post plant you're entering. I'm actually crying. Stage box on Okay, another losing post plant. You want to fight it? Last player, free heaven. Enemy spotted a planet and another statistically losing post plant. The law of big numbers is coming for you, Adam, and it's keeping you down. The smoke behind, behind one behind spawn, elbow, 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 elbow. <laughs> and there's the weakness of your smoke finally biting you in the ass. There's just so much wrong with the way you're playing the game, you're just bound to lose rounds because of it. This is painful, it's painful to watch, man. You're doing so much shit that nobody else does in like high elo. You gotta, you gotta go, uh, you gotta go take some notes. No resting shots on the fights that you could have. Easily anticipated happening. You will get a pass for fights that catch you off guard. Got it? Pre round strategy is incredibly weak for your ELO. You think more about structuring pre rounds around the map wing condition. You don't know what the map wing conditions are. Consider so studying more professional odds, looking for patterns of contested space thanks for the vod sir let's stop shotgunning b main as brimstone 